it smells incredible. I know. It makes me want to go in so much no more. No admittance. Well, we just have to get ready to go on the manufacturing floor. All right, safety first. So. Here we are. I have a beard net on, and uh, we're about to go see how tea is made. Hey guys, Chris Casey here from Localish. I am so excited because it's a gloomy, rainy, cold day, and we are on our way to the Bigelow headquarters in Fairfield, Connecticut. Thanks so much to Bigelow for sponsoring this video. You know, I grew up in Connecticut, never been in the factory before. I really want to check it out. I'm excited you can come along. Hi. Hi. Cindy. Yes. I'm Chris. Chris, welcome to Bigelow. I want to show Thanks you around. Thanks for having me. Yeah, let's check it out. Come on. I think the story of Bigelow is kind of a unique and fun story. It was actually started by my grandmother. Um, she was an interior designer and the depression hit and she lost everything. My grandfather was in publishing, he lost his job, and they really had to start from scratch. And so she found an old colonial recipe, and she came up with this beautiful, beautiful tea that the recipes never changed. She sent it to a group of women who drank it, and they said the next day, source of constant comment. At first, it wasn't selling at all. Who wanted this product that nobody even heard of? This was some old recipe. And so she has this experience where this shopkeeper is telling her about this customer who smells it and buys all six little jars. So she goes back and she thinks about it and works with my father and together they come up with this idea uh, of putting this whiffing jar in the case and that's really what put us on the map. Is this family or is this No, this is all the, the, the people that work with my family. Oh, wow. So this is our extended family. And I think it just really sets a tone even back then that you know everybody was included. Right. This is my grandmother, this is my father, this is my grandfather. Right? This is our first employee, Bill Magner. To me, it's incredibly important being third generation. There's only about three or four percent of businesses that actually make it to the third generation, and I know that, I recognize that, and I really, really respect it. And so I take it very seriously. I like to have fun, and I like to make it a great environment. I like to push and drive, but at the same time, at no point do I ever not recognize the sort of this the stewardship that I have with this business and that's really how I look at it. I'm here to be able to maintain it for the long term for sure. So we make two billion tea bags a year and I'm really happy to say that we are zero waste to landfill all of our facilities. That is a huge accomplishment and we recently just got 100% renewable energy certified. So. I think we're really working hard to make sure that we're taking care of the earth uh, and that we're here for the long haul. So the big stuff comes through here and Majors, then the special stuff All the is mixed special in by parts hands. of our recipes. That's cool. We can have up to 18 different ingredients that will go in to make a Bigelow tea bag so unique and so flavorful. I mean, think about it. Well, you can smell it coming off of right. how good it you is. Right, you can. Yeah. yeah, these guys do a great job. It's really cool. All right, thanks guys. Right. Thanks for letting us show some of your magic. <laughs> So my parents, they come in every day and they are the only ones that make constant comment. The mix, that, which is what goes into the tea, the black teas. This is where my parents come and blend constant comment. Every tea bag that is consumed of constant comment, my parents still make that mix. That's incredible. So it's yeah. pretty unique in today's age. So they come in here. Mm -hmm in this secret door. With their lab coats on. Lab coats on. I, I just find it so incredible that after all these years, to actually be here as the owners of the business and to be mixing at, the, it being in your 90s, that's really Well, something. how about the fact that I've been here for 35 years and it was probably a little less than 10 years ago that I got the recipe finally. <laughs> yeah. I was like, don't you think it's time that I kind of know what to do? So we're going to go on the manufacturing floor cool. right now. We just have to get ready to go on the manufacturing floor. All right, safety first. So, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Here you go. Okay. Okay, well, here we are. I have a beard net on and uh, we're about to go see how tea is made. We're going to watch those little tea bags get produced. So how are the machines going? Beautiful. I can tell. Hi, how are you? She, kn she knows everybody's name. It's amazing. These are the tea bags. That are being produced. That's the individual tea bags there? Is, yeah. this, is this machine filling them also? The tea comes from down there. Oh, wow. It, see the tea in here? You see the window? Drops oh, wow. into the tea bag paper. The tea bag is formed in the center wheel. This is the tea bag paper right here? Yep. That's so funny. 
So how many tea bags are manufactured in this facility every day? We can produce between two and three million tea bags a day. Two and three million? A day in this wow. facility. And this is the smallest of it's your three? It's the smallest facility. It takes a lot to make two billion. Today is the exact day of my 23rd anniversary. Really? Wow, yeah. happy anniversary. That's amazing. There you go. And Today's the day? 23 years We today. survived 23 yeah. years with him? <laughs> oh, it's, it's wonderful. Um, yeah. One of the things I like about what we do here is uh, birthdays. You know, everybody knows everybody's birthday because when your birthday comes up, your name is up there and on the board and everybody, hey, happy birthday, happy birthday. I mean, it's, it's awesome, man. It's That's awesome. cool. This is going to be our last stop, and it is just showing you some of the most beautiful herbs from all around the globe. I see that we have some pre-brewed tea right here. Yeah, we what, finally what served you a cup, here? right? Yeah, so. Is this the original? Constant Common. You have Constant Common, as do I. So this is my grandmother's recipe, and the one that my parents still blend to this day. So cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much.